trifecta watches right there. And you can't find them on Facebook and everything else. So let's go check it out. What's going on? Welcome back in. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, we're going to be getting up close and personal. Uh, and if you guys saw the thumbnail before you came in, you know exactly what we're doing. Uh, yes, this is the first time I really did an unboxing where you saw exactly what I'm going to be unboxing. I will be covering uh, Trifecta uh, a little more this upcoming Sunday. Uh, but we have a lot a lot to talk about, a lot to unpack over the course of the next few weeks. Um, here, what we're going to do with these up close and personals, man, is just like my first take on the watch. Uh, this watch, the Toyosa, uh, is from Citizen, right? And this flew completely under the radar. I had no idea this watch even existed uh, until uh, today. And then I just happened to watch uh, Teddy Bulbasaur actually did this watch last year. So we're going to look at it right now, okay? And uh, I got a colorway that, you know, I think you guys are like. That's the only thing that was different about the thumbnail versus this watch. It's not the same colorway. So, yeah, a little surprise. All right, let's check it out. Like I mentioned before, I was today years old when I found out this watch actually existed. So let's take a look at this bad boy. And... Of course, I don't know. Some people don't care about packaging. I think it's actually pretty nice. But there you have it. Oh, yes. Another Tiffany blue style colorway. So the first thing I noticed, man, you have like this sunburst effect, right? Uh, when I saw this watch, I was like pleasantly surprised. There were a couple colorways. Uh, but I'm telling you. Based on what I saw today on Teddy Bulbasaur's video, um, there was one thing he pointed out, which I did see. You see this recessed crown right here? Uh, it is sort of a struggle to get it. I mean, if you got nails, you can pull it out. Boom. But here's here's the, the one thing I want to bring your attention to. Now, the model that Teddy actually showcased didn't have hacking. This is 8,000 movement, right? 8,000 series Miyota movement. And look at that, that right there, that gold rotor, and it's actually signed. Let's get a closer look at it. Citizen Watch Company, Japanese, right? Bridges, this thing looks beautiful. Integrated bracelet, and it has sort of a, now this was referred to sort of like a, a Rolex style bracelet, like President or whatever, but just sort of like a, a natural bracelet or a necklace that was, I know a couple people have bracelets that look like this or necklaces that look like this, this type of design. But uh, I'd say this thing is really sporty. And it has sort of like that uh, Oyster Perpetual, the Rolex look. At the same time, it has, you know, how the case is sort of like uh, to sew. Speaking of which, yeah. Sort of has the same vibe going on. Only difference is this is Swiss made and this is to sew. Uh, but we're talking about two uh, giant companies. Citizen is no slouch. Now, I like this watch. Honestly, do. I would like to know your get your opinions on what you think of this watch. Think of the bracelet. Now, this is the other thing that um, the only review I saw earlier today. This tape was keeping it together. Is that clasp right there and that potato chip style clasp and eh, I'm not the biggest fan of that I like uh, mill style but where I can close this and it completely goes away I actually like the watch now I actually set this uh, today set it up and it was sort of a, it's more challenging than any other watch that I have uh, I do have uh, crowns that are set right there but I think for the most part, man, very sporty, doable. It's lightweight. It's not, you know, not the heaviest. But I have worn heavier watches than this. So uh, I believe this is a great sports watch. And the price, that's the biggest thing, is the price. I'm going to leave a link down below. Now, uh, the research I got was this watch was like on the Japanese market. You can actually get this watch right now. A trifecta. You can order it, man. Uh, there's no special codes or anything like that. Citizen is actually running the sale, so you can go online and look 
and apply your discount codes and stuff like that and um check it out and if you the citizen's not your thing there's other watches you get they got long jeans they got yeah, listen come back sunday and we'll talk more about trifecta as a whole my thing overall is a lot of people that i know don't have an ad close to them or they'll have to go to like saucemans or uh arizona fine time or something like that uh, and they're all out of state, right? Either Florida or wherever the case is, right? I just happen to have, fortunate enough to have a couple of ADs by me. You know, I got Kokomo Watch Company. I have Moya Jewelers, which the Urban Gentry uses that. And now I have Trifecta, which is going to be another one of the stories. Like, in the customer service out, oh, man, it is on another level. Uh, but you guys will see. You guys will see Sunday. Come back Sunday, and we'll talk about it. You guys, let me know. Put down in the comment section, what do you know? Or what do you think about this right here? And if you're on Watch Crunch, you saw this before. Yes, I released it on Watch Crunch before I did this. Man, y'all already know what it is, man. So, uh, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow, right? We going live tomorrow. Don't forget, me and Merrily on time are going to be talking about this watch right here. Navitimer Homage, all right? So, see you guys tomorrow on Instagram. See you guys Sunday trifecta all right y'all be blessed